Thank you to Athletic Greens for sponsoring today's video. We have some new tea. It's uh, chamomile and mint, I think. Cool, chamomile, mint, organic, herbal blend. See, this to me could be a morning tea or an evening tea. Look at that beautiful piss color. Oh, isn't that just appetizing? Whatever's going on in my life and the world, a cup of tea always centers me, grounds me, and allows me just to like live presently for 10 minutes. So cheers. Mm. So our goal today is to try to find some picture frames and some artwork to go above my bed to complete my gallery wall uh, that I started six months ago when I moved into my apartment. So we're at this like antique store warehouse that I've been to before. Every time I come here, I love this guy's work. This stuff right here is so cool. We're doing pretty good. We're doing all right. Yeah, baby. We got the door open today. We chilling, we vibing. We got some Harry Styles coming through the speakers right now. I can't play it because Harry's gonna come after us with a copyright. Check that out. Isn't that flipping gorgeous? So this is what we got. It's looking pretty fresh. It's, it's pretty it's pretty cute, it's pretty sexy. I stopped doing it because it's 11 o'clock at night and I have a neighbor on the other side of the wall and he's a super cool guy, but uh, I've been pounding. <laughs> I pounded like nine nails in the wall. You know, life of an artist, you know, you get you get bursts of creativity at, at 11.30 at night and you're like, I wanna change the whole fucking thing that I just did. Anyways, enough about silly old frames. How are you guys doing? You doing good? You look pretty good. All right, I'm gonna go to bed. <laughs> What do you guys think? It actually turned out like better than I expected for not measuring anything. I just sort of like eyeballed it and tacked it up. I took this photo, this photo, and this photo. This is my grandmother's uh, album, Judy Garland. Pretty groovy. Guys, if you've been following this channel the last few months, you have noticed me drinking this, AG1 by Athletic Greens, which is today's sponsor. Let's talk about it. It's a daily supplement that has 75 different ingredients, including vitamins, minerals, superfoods, probiotics, and adaptogens. I've almost considered this like a part of my, my self-care routine because uh, it's good for your hair, your nails, it supports gut health. It's not just for athletes, it's for anybody who just wants to like have all their daily nutrients in one convenient little shaker bottle. It's also packed with adaptogens, including magnesium, which helps with muscle recovery, and a bunch of vitamin C, zinc, uh, to support your immune health. Just add one scoop or travel pack to eight to 12 ounces of water, give that baby a shake, and drink up. Even though it looks like a bunch of liquefied grass, it's delicious. Kind of tastes like a sweet, minty pineapple. Go to athleticgreens.com slash Marky Miller to get started on your order. Athletic Greens is giving you guys a free one year supply of immune supporting vitamin D and five free travel packs with your first purchase. When I was talking to my therapist last week, he brought up the idea of autonomy versus togetherness. How much time you like to spend alone and how much time we like to spend with others. And if you like had to put a number on it, I would say my split would be like 70-30. 70% 70 of the time I like to spend with myself and then the rest of the time with others. I don't think you necessarily have to like put a number on it because it's kind of hard, right? It depends a lot on your environment, the mood you're in, where you're at in your life. Like just for the sake of the 
the the exercise like he told me to put a number on it and so i said 70 30. my biggest takeaway from from therapy so far was just like yes i get time to like talk about my feelings but more importantly i get to learn about my feelings and learn about what they mean and it's been such an educational process i've known for a while that like i'm an introvert and i recharge alone and i always think in my head i was like okay for my my future partner uh I'm like, they need to be an extrovert to sort of like get me out of my shell. But on second thought, when I think about the autonomy versus togetherness, I'm like, well, I would like to be introverts together, like practice our autonomy together in the same room. We can hang out with each other, but we're also sort of like experiencing some alone time, if that makes any sense. I'm not even looking for a partner right now. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, it's kind of just like in my head, fantasizing about when the time comes, I'll be ready. I think it's important to like really think about who I want to share my life with. Anyways. Yeah, I actually like it a lot. Yeah, they have some delicious, delicious tea. <laughs> hey sir, can I help you with anything? Peanut butter, protein bars, and beer. <laughs> Bros who grocery shop together, stay yeah. together. Yeah. Yeah, have you been there? Uh, I used to live there. Okay, I scan your car. Oh, you did? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Very cool. So, yeah, so you're covers. like, got the s'mores, <laughs> got the beer. <laughs> Again, healthy, balanced diet. Healthy, That's balanced diet. Yeah. Beers and cooks. If you put too many introverts into a room, we're all gonna fucking fall asleep. Go to bed. We're all gonna, <laughs> we're all gonna go night night. <laughs> <laughs> like, do you, have you always identified as an extrovert? Oh, yeah. Yeah, well, no, like, I guess, like, when me and you became friends, you kind of brought the extra out in me, but, uh, yeah, ever so since, weird. like, high school, I've been an extrovert, it's like, I don't know, I love people, I love being around people, like, we are just talking, like, you can camera, camera, you can camera me anytime, you can videotape <laughs> me anytime, and, like, I don't care, man, because it's like, yeah. that's fine, but, again, like, some people, it's like, no, they're, like, that's not where my power comes from. We're both off the sauce. Yes. And, uh, so, yeah, I've been... Ranting and raving to Donnie about this non-alcoholic like, beer. The best non-alcoholic beer I've ever had. Dang. Yeah. I've had a few. Go Athletic Brewing Company. That's good, man. This is, yeah, sponsored by uh, Athletic Brewing Co. <laughs> so. <laughs> it's not. This video is actually sponsored by Athletic Brewing so. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, brother. Cheers. I feel like I spend a lot of time looking at houses online, whether it's on Zillow, or in some of my architecture books. I spend most of the time looking at homes way outside my budget, which is kind of funny because for me, like the ideal setup and something I'm working toward and saving toward is buying property with a little house on it. Whether I build a tiny house or have a yurt or some sort of small, tiny living situation. So the house we're looking at today is actually in my hometown of Fort Wayne, Indiana. Uh, it's $2 million, or at least it's, it was sold for $2 million um, a couple years ago. Uh, we're looking at six bedroom, eight bath, 8,500 square feet, 24 acres, built in 1940. Already just like a cute little cottagey vibe, just from like the first picture, you're like, wow, I would, uh, I would just love to chill in there. Damn, look at all that land, that is crazy. That'd be so freaking cool. <laughs> I've always thought it's very unnecessary to have your own private tennis court, but with 24 acres, I think, I think it'd probably be all right. I love pools that are just shaped like a blob and don't have any specific lines or rectangular form to them. Look at this patio, like all these stone pavers down here. Like this is so chill. Instantly you go through a curved door and it's like, oh, so we're in an arts, we're like in an artsy house right now. This is great. The flooring in this too. Like I'm a big flooring guy. I think, that is like, it sets the whole mood for the, for the space. And there's like brick flooring, I guess. Yeah, so you know, some of this furniture would just have to go, but we're not trying to focus too much on the furniture or what this specific homeowner did to the house. It's kind of like looking at it like, if we were to move in there tomorrow, how would we outfit it? How would we design it? The mural in the living room is kind of, it's kind of cool actually. I wonder if this is like a secret door to maybe like the butler's pantry or something. It's not a house for everyone, but that's kind of why I like it. Finding a dance room in the basement of this house was like meant to be. Oh, look at that. That is so pretty. Dang. I love like a very unkept 
front yard. So this driveway is obviously private, um, but growing up, I would always drive down private drives and just play stupid if I got caught. I'd be like, hey, I thought this was like Dairy Queen. <laughs> I really do love this house. Um, it's a little big, like 8,000 square feet is like way too much space. Like I'd be happy with like a thousand square feet house. Um, I wanna spend time outdoors as much as possible. And that's why I love branches mostly. Like I don't like, I don't like vertical houses that are like four floors, but each floor is like one room, you know? Like I like the whole house to be in the first floor. But yeah, that's just one style of house. I've got a bunch of other like Malibu cliff houses on here that we can get into. But um, if you like this little section, let me know in the comments and we'll do more. I've been following these guys on YouTube for a minute now. This is Joe, his boyfriend Ryan's behind him. And I rarely come across a channel where I'm like, wow, I would love to be their friends. They each have their own channel and uh, I recommend checking it out. And uh, that's all I got for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you made it to the end of the video, give me a like, I appreciate it. And uh, I'll see you next week. Love you, see you, bye.